Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This is another OpenTX quick tip and it's about telemetry logging. This is where you can log the telemetry that's coming into your radio so that if you've got a GPS unit and you aren't recording your DVR and you had a problem and lost your quad and couldn't find it, you can go into the logs and find the co coordinates so that you can go and find your quadcopter. So this video is going to show you how to do this. So let's uh, switch over to uh, OpenTX Companion and to my Jumper T16 to show you how to do this. Let's go to OpenTX Companion. I'm going to load my latest backup of my Jumper T16. Go to my Taycan. And we're going to look, go straight to the special functions. And if we go down to here, I've set up special function 18. Now I connected this to my arm switch. So I didn't do a separate switch because I thought that was a bit pointless. I'd like it to log everything when I'm flying with this quad, when I'm going to be filming. Uh, I could be filming over trees and everything. So I wanted it to start logging as soon as it's armed and stop logging when it's, it's not armed. So that is connected to my arm switch. Then you select in the action SD logs. And then here in the parameters, it's one. And I think that is one second. So it's taking the data every one second. And that is everything you need to do. That's absolutely everything. Let's take a look at data telemetry logging on my Jumper T16. Okay, we're going to hit the model button and then the page and we're going to go across to special functions and then go down and you can see there's as we set it up in companion you can see we've I've connected it to my arm switch and then it's SD logs is the uh, function you choose and then one one second. Now, what you can do is, which, which I couldn't show you within Companion, so if we go, oh, big pardon, if we go Page and go to Telemetry. Okay, and then we go down. And if I hold the button down, the Enter button, now I can edit that. And you can go down on the particular telemetry reading that's coming back to your radio and you can choose whether it whoops a daisy I'm going past you see it's it's logged so there's a option there if I uncheck that that will not show up on the log if I check it it will show up on the log so at the moment I've got everything all of the telemetry coming back from my crossfire nano receiver all of it all of those 22 telemetry readings are being logged, but you can, as I say, um, stop that from happening by pushing enter, clicking edit, and then go to the bottom and then unlog it. And then it won't lock if you uncheck that option. And there we go. That's it on the radio. Now let's take a look at the actual log that uh, came off of my quad. Now all you need to do is you could either take out your SD card or you can plug your uh, Jumper T16 into your computer and then go into the SD card and, and drag across the file, which is a CSV file. And here is one from the 19th uh, where I flew. And you can see I've numbered the, this doesn't normally come out at the top. I put this on for the video purposes. There's the 22 different telemetries that come back from the receiver to my radio and the important one for me is that GPS one and then we've got some interesting ones like the speed the altitude um, and there's how many satellites I was locked on to and then there's all this data about the positions of the sticks which I'm not sure if you can turn those off I'm going to look into that uh, because you can see all this other data and the transmitter Obviously, that would stay constant because it's on uh, one the, operating off the main battery. So we can go across and we've got all the telemetry here, RQL. Interesting that the uh, RQLY here isn't as a percentage as a, as 100%. 
If I zoom down, you see crossfire just didn't didn't give up at all. Right, it never went off. <laughs> okay, I wasn't that far away from me. Maybe, maybe 100 meters, 150 meters. So that's interesting. Um, and then, of course, you're gonna want to. Everybody wants to know how fast they went. So let's have a look. What I did. What was interesting looking at this log. If I go down to the fastest speed I did, which was here, was 68 kilometers an hour. And there was uh, the second before. So it went, seems like it went in one second, it went from 50, accelerated by 18 kilometers. And you can see the ampage. I'm assuming so this is the amps drawn. And you can see from now, I was on 10.4 at, at 16 kilometers an hour. Sorry, let me come back down. And then as it accelerated, it surged at 43, looks like 43 amps. And then it, it settled itself down again. And you can see I maintained that speed for only for a few seconds. So that's uh, that's the data you can get off, but off of the data logging. But what's really interesting for me is the safety of having the GPS coordinates where you can go and go back home if you couldn't find it, uh, look at the log and then hopefully go and track it down. So that's... Uh, that's really, really cool. I have blotted out the coordinates, obviously, for privacy. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye.